What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can, you know, read them for yourself or you just watch this video. I'm going to read it to you and everything. Also, before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right, now that we've got that business out of the way, you guys, why don't we go ahead and get started? All right, HBO bosses used secret fake accounts to troll TV critics. You guys, this does not surprise me in any way, shape, or form, but it's so embarrassing. Okay, so Casey Bloys ordered staffers to create fake accounts to fire back at critics, according to text conversations reviewed by Rolling Stone as part of a new lawsuit. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Like, if you have to create a fake account so you can troll somebody else, that's so sad. That's so sad. Anyways, in June 2020, Casey Bloys, HBO, then president of original program, needed someone to go on a mission. Bloys, who was named HBO's CEO and chairman in October 2022, was irked, to, irked by a tweet from Vulture TV critic Catherine Van Arkadoc. Oh, that's a long-ass name, Van Arkadoc. Um, who had some thoughts about Perry Mason, HBO series starring Matthew Ray, uh, Ray, um, Ray's, uh, as a private detective turned defense attorney in uh, 1930s Los Angeles. Real quick, Perry Mason, so good. Uh, season one's better than season two, but it's very good. Anyways, the remake, the remake of the original 1960s show uh, carves out an original story for Mason showing flashes of him serving in World War One, which Van Arkadoc felt was weak storytelling days before the series aired on the platform, uh, seemingly had a screener for review. Her subtweeted, uh, she subtweeted the series, Dear Prestige TV, she wrote, please find some way to communicate male trauma besides showing me a flashback to the hero's memories of trench warfare. I mean, that's, I mean, I, I'm not on her side with that tweet because I'm, that's, that's a good way to show trauma, but whatever, it's fine. Bloys was annoyed, according to the text messages reviewed by Rolling Stone and Sam Van Arkadoc tweet, to Catherine McCaffrey, uh, HBO's senior vice president of drama programming. Maybe a Twitter user should tweet that that's a pretty blithe response to what soldiers uh, legitimately go through on the battlefield, he texts. Do you have a secret handle? Couldn't, uh, couldn't we say, especially given that it's D-Day, to dismiss a soldier's experience like that seems pretty disrespectful. This must be uh, answered. Um, I don't see why he didn't just do it himself. I'm sorry. Like, get in the trenches, if you will, get in the trenches yourself of, of, of the Twitter fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I mean, I would, if I, if it was me, like, I'd be like, I'm sorry. Like, come on, don't be disrespectful, fucker. Um, Bloys was serious. Who can go on a mission? He asked McCaff McCaffrey, according to the messages, adding that they needed to find a mole at arm's length from the HBO executive team, we just need a random to make a point and make her feel bad. Um, that's really weird too. But here's the thing though. If I worked for HBO at the time, like I was one of their employees and they said, hey, Matt, you want to go and tweet this bitch uh, and say this, this, and this? I would do it. I'd just be like, yeah, let's do this. I don't fucking care. Um, just because I don't care. Uh, you know, Twitter's not a real place. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, if you want to go, bitch, I'll go. I have no problem. Eventually, Bloys landed on a rebuttal to Vanderkalk, according to the messages. I somewhat uh, elite, uh, 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 elitist take, is there any more traumatic traumatic for men and now women than fighting in a war. Sorry if this seems to uh con uh, oh gosh convenient for you. I thank you. The exchange was one of the least six instances between June 2020 and June 2021 in which Bloys and McCaffrey discussed using what they called a secret army to to fire back at several TV critics on Twitter now known as X. Why do they always put that? Just say Twitter or just say X. Anyways, as well as anonymous comments on articles about HBO programming, according to, I mean, like how we, oh, that's, I'm not going to read the rest of this um, just because like, I don't need to, but, and I have another, I have, a, a, hold on. There was the idol one. Um, 
The messages are part of a trove of material being prepared for a previously unreported wrongfully termination lawsuit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court. Um, okay, we're not going to read that. Sorry, guys. Um, that has nothing to do with this. But okay. So he so he had people go and write these emails. So I want to do that, but I have also have another article from The Guardian. The Guardian's trash, but I wanted to read this anyway. So it says HBO boss apologizes for using fake Twitter accounts to troll TV critics. Um, yeah, let's okay. The HBO CEO and chairman, Casey Bloys, has apologized for tasking employees with creating fake Twitter accounts to attack TV critics. Oh, that's so sad, you guys, that he had to do this. I mean, uh, just uh, yeah, just leave it. Just leave it. I mean, th- th- that woman's criticism, even though I didn't agree with it, it wasn't that bad. Like, I was just like, okay, fine, whatever. But um, I don't know, man. It's so crazy. Some people, they just have thin skin. All right. Um, Bloys was responding to a bombshell Rolling Stone report that referenced alleged text messages between himself and uh, Kathleen McCaffrey, HBO's senior vice president of drama programming. Um, Six conversations, the pair discussed a secret army that could respond to TV critics who gave HBO shows a negative review. During a... uh, representation for HBO and Max's upcoming program, Bloys addressed the allegations. And this, hold on, this is what he said. Let's get this, let's get this, because this is good. So juicy, I love it. For those of you who know me, you know that I am a programming executive, very, very passionate about the shows that we decide to do. He said, according to Variety, and the people who do them and the people who work on them. I want the shows to be great. I want people to love them. I want you all to love them. It's very important to me what you all think of the shows. When you think about that and then think of 2020 and 2021, I'm working from home and I'm doing an unhealthy amount of scrolling through Twitter. I come up I come up with a very, very dumb idea to vent my frustration. He admitted that the six tweets over an 18-month period was not very effective, but apologized to anyone who had been involved. Obviously, nobody wants to be a part of a story that they had nothing to do with, he said. But also, as of you, uh, as many of you know, I have progressed over the past couple of years to using DMs. Uh, so now when I take issue with something in a review, I take issue with something I see. Many of you are uh, gracious enough to engage with me in a back and forth. And I think that that is probably a much healthier way to go about this. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, you can air your dirty laundry out in public, which is fine. But um, yeah. So he apologized because he got caught being stupid and everything, which is just great. I, I love this story just because, like, he's just a little idiot. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about this Casey Bloys guy making uh, making people create these fake accounts so he can just troll critics? Like, I get it. Some people want to say, like, there's hate channels out there. Um, but I'm sorry. No, no work of art or artist or person in general is past criticism, even if it's criticism you don't like. And like I said before, even though I don't agree with the woman that uh, that Vander Kalken, I don't know what her last name is, Vander Arkanak, um, even though I didn't agree with her criticism on uh, Perry Mason, uh, I still go, that wasn't that bad. And I mean, like, if if I had seen it on Twitter, I would have just scrolled past it because I was just like, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Um, I'm like, I just think you're wrong. So, but like, I, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Um, his excuse was kind of annoying and like stupid, but whatever, what are you going to do? But tell me what you guys think about all of this. Uh, you know, how crazy it is and everything. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you know my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.